Hello guys, this is Indian Medico and in this video we are going to see about Dequervin Stenosynovitis. This is a concise presentation for medical students. Now let us break the term Stenosynovitis. Steno means tendon, Sino refers to synovium and itis means inflammation. So basically Stenosynovitis is inflammation of synovium that surrounds a tendon. Decurrent stenosynovitis is stenosynovitis of sheath that surrounds abductor pollicis longus and extensor pollicis brevis tendons. It is named after Swiss surgeon Decurrent. It is basically a condition characterized by pain and swelling over the radial styloid process. This picture shows the pathogenesis of Decurrent stenosynovitis. This is the tendon of extensor pollicis brevis and this is the tendon of abductor pollicis longus. In decurrent tenosynovitis, there is inflammation and swelling in the sheet that surrounds these two tendons. Let us see about the cause of decurrent tenosynovitis. As discussed earlier, in decurrent tenosynovitis, there is inflammation of the common sheet of abductor pollicis longus and extensor pollicis brevis tendons. Though its exact cause is not known, texting and gaming are thought to be risk factors for developing decurrent tenosynovitis and hence it is also known as texting thumb or gamer's thumb. Now let us see about the symptoms of decurrent stenosynovitis. Pain at the radial side of the wrist is the main symptom of decurrent stenosynovitis. Now let us see about the signs of decurrent stenosynovitis. There will be tenderness over the radial styloid process. There may be a palpable thickening of the sheet. Finkelstein's test is positive in decurrent stenosynovitis. A positive Finkelstein's test is pathognomic of decurrent stenosynovitis. The principle is that pain is aggravated by adducting the thumb across the palm and forcing ulnar deviation and on asking the patient to perform radial deviation against resistance. Basically, in Finkelstein's test, you ask the patient to adduct the thumb across the palm and the examiner then fo forces ulnar deviation. This picture shows Finkelstein test. Basically, the patient is asked to make a fist with the thumb inside the fist. The examiner stabilizes forearm and ulna deviates the wrist. Positive sign is pain over the abductor pollicis longus and extensor pollicis brevis tendons. How do you treat a case of decurrent stenosynovitis? Wrist to the wrist by applying a crepe bandage or slab analgesics and ultrasonic radiation. These three things can be done in the early stages of the disease. Local infiltration of hydrocortisone may be necessary in some cases. In chronic cases, slitting and excision of a part of the tendon sheet is necessary. If you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comment section. If you like this video, please like, share, subscribe and tell your friends about this channel. For more such videos, Please check out my playlists.